All right. Gloomy, gloomy day. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today's moving day at the shop, and uh, we got a good bit of stuff to move. So let's get moving. We're just leaving the house right now. I got to swing by Home Depot. I uh, got a bunch of stuff in the trunk, actually, right now that I got to transfer over. All the small stuff that I could fit, you know, in an S2000 trunk, like toilet paper, hand wash stuff, uh, some shop towels. The essentials for people that are going to be hanging out at the shop today, helping uh, swap things over. So, yeah, uh, we've been working the last few days on getting the shop painted. So that's what my fiance and one of my other friends are going to be doing today. Um, is working on painting the rest of it. We got all the, we got two walls done and then we got primer and all the rest. So we got to run to Home Depot really quick and go get some more uh, paint, unfortunately, because we didn't realize how much brick wall stuff actually, uh, you know, absorbs. So yeah. And then uh, Marco is meeting me with the trailer and a truck. Thankfully the dude is a lifesaver and we're gonna be able to get the rest of the stuff moved. I think Isaiah and a few of the other guys are coming by. So thankfully I've got some help today. Otherwise, I don't know how I would move everything from the shop, especially without a trailer. But yeah, thankfully we got some good friends with us. So I'm gonna go get this stuff done and you know, hope for a good day. Should be a good day. New beginnings, eh? And really all I wanna do is just go drive this thing. Got the Integra back over here the other day too, because if uh, you guys didn't see the video be mentioning it, I think uh, this wasn't here, but that we, you know, got the house and stuff. So yeah, if you're new to the channel or you haven't seen the last video, yeah, we bought a house. So that's part of my, uh, you know, new year stuff, new uh, location, new shop, new everything. So yeah, anyway, back to the, back to the point. Let's get going. All right, so pretty much everything you guys see in here is coming with me. Lift obviously is already gone. If you guys uh, didn't watch the last video, lift doesn't fit at the new shop, working on a solution, just gonna end up costing me more money. But overall, yep, everything in here, gotta go. So while we're waiting for the truck and trailer to show up, just gonna start grabbing all the small stuff. Uh, Heck yeah. Back at it. Yeah, so thankfully everybody's starting to show up. Everybody slept in today. <laughs> But we got Marco coming in clutch with the trailer. We got our boy Mike coming in clutch with the extra hands. Alex is here and then uh, Isaiah is on his way, which is our muscle, our big muscle. So yeah, we're steady moving along. I got some totes packed up with all the loose stuff over here. Um, yeah, making progress, but it's happening. Good way to start off 2024. Yeah, first day of 2024, moving shops and fucking uh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta recycle all this, or at least get it into containers. I have a couple. Um, like this one, I can just take and recycle. This one is full. Yeah. I think I got two more jugs. I'm gonna try and pour this into before we leave, just so it uh, is more easily movable. And then all the stuff that's on the rack, I'm just gonna throw that into the truck, okay. into the bed and stuff, and whatever else fits. All right. And then these bins, same thing. I'll throw those in the Xterra. Okay. Other than that, yeah, the only heavy thing is gonna be. Yeah, the box. Nice. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, this All is... All shiny and new. Damn, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Sweet. Let's keep going. The top, it's, it's decent. It's not as heavy as the bottom is, but it's decent. Try to sneak more of those in here, some of the loose stuff. We'll okay. see where it goes once we get yeah. more stuff in place. Whoa, what's up, dude? How's it going? Really? All right. Hell yeah. Looking pretty decent. Yeah. Do you carry that by yourself, Mike? <laughs> Do what? Oh yeah, I'm working on saving up for a new. I was gonna buy a new one, but then the insurance thing and out of lift situation, so it's on the new box is on hold. But I'm not gonna lie, yeah. if I could get my hands on both sides, I really do think I could uh, try to do it. <laughs> I don't know. He's got the winch, so I think we're gonna winch right. it up. You guys want to lift it or roll it up? Uh, we I mean it was like four dudes we could lift it, but depends on how everybody's back yeah, is feeling. 
Right, lift this bitch. Yeah, they <laughs> <pretty much>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to lift it. Yeah, I'm down too. All right. Get the ribs off, right? Yeah, get those. Oh, this stretch out real quick before I fuck something up. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm feeling kind of useless because I tweaked my back the other day, and my shoulders tweaked as well. So I'm just kind of loading everything for him, but I'm very thankful for the help today. So uh, welding cart pretty quickly. Uh, figured fluids. Oh yeah, we gotta see how this plays out. Yeah, because when we moved in here, we unloaded it with like three of us. I think it was Ramon, me, and somebody else. It might have been you, maybe even Javi too. Yeah, but it's probably the four of us. Yeah. The power of autism, so like I make up for that. Hey, go. All right, we got a guy here, dude. Yeah. We got Mr. Clean. Hey, Mr. Clean is swole as hell. That's Javi. Ready? Hey, on three. One, two, three. Oh, that was fucking awful. <laughs> wow. You go die now. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gonna come around the corner and just be blocked in once. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Then it came up and left light. I was like, what? It was him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I Sucks mean, I have like really good. Streets closed, pizza boy, find another way home. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> 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 Solid. Got the Silverado squatting, putting in the real work today. <laughs> Sheesh. But we got pretty much all the big stuff. All that's left is like the other welder and then like the stands, the bender. And then, uh, yeah, that little rack with some more material. But I guess we got these things too. So, okay, one more trailer full. But uh, yeah, looking pretty solid so far. Definitely weird seeing this place all uh, empty again, though. All right, a little bit different. Yes. I did notice our paint job is working better than these walls, though. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I, I never noticed I'm the, like, the, okay. no, the I don't peppery so. look. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Makes me feel good. Yeah, same. <laughs> but heck yeah. So probably run all this stuff, unload the trailer, and then come back. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I, I think I got a little bit more room in the Xterra, so I'll load up some more small stuff, but. Okay. She almost there. Nice. Oh yeah, from just sitting. Heck yeah. All right, well first load, load it up. Got pretty much everything. There's only a few uh, stragglers back there. So yeah, I don't know. Probably another 20 minutes worth of loading up once we get back. Be pretty easy. Oh yeah. Don't forget. Yeah, right? An expensive torch too. It's a cheap one. It's still like a hundred something bucks. I'll probably. But heck yeah, everything's all solid. We're good. We'll see you guys over at the shop, and uh, yeah, start unloading, have some fun. Yeah, I mean, we're not even bad on time. It's we've been here for about an hour and a half, so we're doing all right. Yeah, I think most people. We started moving stuff like quarter to eleven, so yeah, really not bad. On my way over with the first load, so I'm in my buddy's uh, Nissan Xterra that he's let me borrow, so super thankful for that. The other guys are just a moment or two ahead of me. So yeah, we're gonna get there, we're gonna unload, and thankfully the day is going pretty smoothly so far, you know, hopefully not to jinx it, but I'm stoked that I have uh, the help that I have today. It's it, it's a good thing, because um, I'm, like I said, I'm hurting. My shoulder's still messed up. Uh, I, I messed up my back last week, so that's all sore, so. The help is really, really appreciated. It, um, but yeah, I'm just excited for new beginnings. I'm still stressed as extremely for the financials of this, but man, is it uh, a good feeling to just, yeah, I don't know, whatever. I'm kind of babbling, but uh, we'll see you guys over the new shop. If this guy will uh, ever go, because Priuses don't know how their gas pedal works, apparently. Caught up with everybody right off the freeway, so now uh, just gonna figure out how to get the trailer in here. The parking lot's pretty steep, so that's the only concern I had with the trailer. Uh, it should be fine, but yeah, it's just kind of a, a tight area back here, so yeah, I guess wait and figure this out. We're probably just gonna have to pull the trailer up alongside the bay door because it's it's too tight for him to try and back it in. Um, which is the only crappy part. When the guys were trying to install the lift before, you know, when they found it couldn't work, the dude was trying to back that thing in for like 10 minutes. So, yeah. 
All right, home sweet home. All right, so got the rest of the load. Other shops pretty much empty. Well, I mean, it is empty. So now got a whole lot of organization to do. And uh, yeah, looking pretty solid though. It's gonna be nice once we get all the lights set up in here. Walls looking pretty good too. We're getting there. <sighs> Definitely uh, exhausting. Oh yeah, cool. Hey. So, otherwise I'd rather just keep it. <laughs> 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 so I didn't notice you laying on the floor, so I look at him, I look at Chris as a paid attention, so I'm like, who the fuck is he talking to right now? I'm just, I'm just taking a nap. I'm just talking to the floor person, you know? <laughs> talking to the paint fumes are really getting to you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Alright, so kind of starting to figure things out. Yeah. I decided to take so the lower to racks out of this to save some space, too. and I'm going to put my table under this thing, cart can finally run along the wall. Got the 220 wired in earlier today. Shout out my buddy Matt. So that's all wired up. I'm just getting everything kind of starting to be situated and then we'll be good. Still not done. Obviously the lift is in the way, but we got most of it set up. The walls just got finished and uh, been doing a pretty good job getting things sorted. So until the lift shows up, can't do a whole lot. And I do need to get a couple more of these equipment racks. And then we're gonna get some like tire rack type things and put plywood to hold stuff more up on the wall because just limited. But uh, yeah, it's looking pretty great so far, honestly. We're digging it. And we yeah. even got some fizzy bubbly. It was yeah. supposed to be for if we stayed late because it was New Year's last night, but now it's kind of like a celebration that we're in here. It's just late New Year's, but <laughs> we have to get it done though. Yeah. At least something for. Is that all real the hard champagne? Work. Hell yeah, it is. It's Martini and Rossi. Oh, I didn't know if it was like it's some so cider or it's something. <laughs> It ain't no Sean Don, but... Sean Don. To the new shop and new year. <laughs> new year, new us. Yes. If I can actually... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Alright, well, here is to uh, day two of trying to set everything up in here, so... Made some pretty good progress last night. Got a fancy new water bottle for Christmas, so shout out my fiance's mom. And yeah, so we got some lights strung up. I don't know if I showed you guys that. So we got this one directly above us. Kind of got a stretch to reach that one. And then we got the two chained together up here. So we're definitely gonna add a couple more of these. Um, probably, I, we, we are gonna add a power outlet over here. And then we're probably gonna add one or two more lights over here. And then same with uh, probably one more over there because there is a plug right up there. Uh, I do have one more light, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I thought I did. Thought I had four, but whatever. Yeah. So we got we got good light in here now. Just run those because I'm a little short to reach up there. But yeah, look at how much better that looks. Oh, duh, because I got the fourth light over my workbench. Silly me. So that's the other thing that we did last night is again, obviously you see I repurposed my rack, which I need to get like two more of these, and or build shelving off the wall because. I do plan on sharing this space, so that's the thing is my buddy Alex came in with me, so he's gonna be doing wheel and tire stuff and eventually get into wheel repair stuff and it's gonna be cool, but in the meantime, even though like I'm using the vast majority of the shop because it's all in my name, like it was whatever, like there's no, I don't want no political type drama, whatever you wanna call it, associated with it. I'm trying to be courteous of him and give him the space that I know he's gonna need. Um, and I don't want him to feel uncomfortable because I don't want to feel uncomfortable So I'm trying to make sure my stuff is as efficiently usable and space Space conscious as I can so my biggest issue is I have a lot of material bins So I've got this this is all I want to say two and a quarter two and a half inch stainless piping This is all two and a quarter stainless piping with a whole bunch of miscellaneous flanges that I save This is a bin that's going home. That's like my own parts that don't need to be sitting here taking up space um, this is all material. This is all material. That's all material. That's all material. Um, yeah, so, and then I've got, you know, the big sheet of steel there. So the issue is I don't really have anywhere else to put it because before it was all on this rack 
and uh, the little one over there. So that one we're just gonna keep for sink stuff. So yeah, again, I need to get another one of these when I get some more money, unless there's some local deal that I can find. Um, but yeah, once I get the material organized, really the only mess over here is just like my lift. Um, Cause a lot of this, once I get other stuff situated, once I get my new toolbox, some of this stuff can actually go in that. And then once I get another one of those things, I can consolidate some of this. So like the belt sander, I plan on putting that on one of the racks. Um, the, that thing, uh, my little polisher, that'll get bolted to the rack. And then that stand can go bye-bye, probably take that home. This I'm gonna end up putting on something else because this was bolted to my lift before with my little ghetto stand, but now that's not an option. So that is probably gonna get put onto something else because I, um, I use that a lot of the time for mostly my drill press on, or my uh, tubing notcher, honestly. So. Yeah, get that sorted. Probably have that stay over here so that way it's uh, the mess is closer to the door so it's easier to keep up because I'd like to be able to have the back area a bit more clean here. But yeah, we're looking really great. Um, yeah, I just, I can't thank everybody enough that came by yesterday. You know, Mike, awesome dude. Um, you know, huge shout out to Marco for lending me his time, truck and trailer. Big thank you to Isaiah for coming through to help. And then, you know, Sasha and Jeremy and like anybody that's watching this, you know, that you were here, you know who you are. I just, I very much thank you. This is extremely difficult, stressful time in my life right now with everything going on. So any help I can get is extremely appreciated. And a lot of you guys reaching out to me on social media with concerns about the shop and like asking and inquiring, like I am very thankful for you because that really means a lot that people care. So shop otherwise is going great. So again, we're all set up, ready to work, minus the lift. I have welder power. Huge shout out to my buddy Matt for wiring that in yesterday. But yeah, so for today, I got some more unpacking to do. Mostly figure out these stuff. Material stuff, I'm probably just gonna try and shove some of it up there. Cause I don't use this stuff every day. This is just my quick grab stuff. So for the short term, let's throw it up on the, on the bathroom. So status update. You can see I kind of got more or less everything put away. I mean, the lift obviously is still here, still waiting on the guy to contact me. I sent the owner of the company, it's called Red Mountain Equipment or something like that here in uh, Arizona. And he read the message because he was the one that was talking to me and hasn't got back to me yet. So hopefully sometime today, get the lift sorted at least verbally. But yeah, so shop is looking pretty solid. This stuff is all kind of temporary right now as I'm waiting on extra money so I can get more racks. I got a bunch of stuff shoved up there, mostly material, because again, racks. Um, got the hoses and ladder against over there. That's just some stuff for the fridge and stuff. Um, yeah, fixtures are under the welding bench. Got this stuff situated. Uh, that cabinet's all stocked and finally put back together. So yeah, really all I can do at the moment is, uh, you know, I can still work in here. I just don't have the lift and this thing is very heavy so I can't move it myself. So um, yeah, other than that, once this is sorted, we're fully uh, functional again. So really at the moment, I can't really, I can do my normal work, it's just gonna suck. I really don't like doing exhaust on my back. And now that I don't have all the jack stands cause I left those in my dad's house, um, it's gonna be a lot harder to do exhaust. So for the meantime, I'm fully open and doing everything else. I just can't really do a lot of stuff that involves going under the car right now, but hopefully soon that'll be all situated. So in the meantime, I think I'm gonna work on using up some of my spare aluminum because that'll I'll let me break down some of these bins and make some of these DA case swap intakes. And from there, I may just, I don't know, I'll find stuff to make and I really wanna get into more production titanium stuff. And I do have those four universal short rams that I have that are also efficient for E36s as like a stock arm replacement. So if you want one of those, I have four of them, each in different colors on the website. And then I'm gonna start trying to do some more stuff like that. Try and keep like mid budget titanium products available. I don't know what primarily intakes to start with for sure. Cause those are much easier to work with and cause they're smaller. But yeah, anyways guys, uh, I think this is more or less gonna wrap up the, uh, the shop video. Cause we're moved in now officially minus the lift. And I'm happy to update you guys once I get a lift situation sorted. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try, oh, that was the other thing. So. Uh, I mentioned I want to hang stuff on the wall, so I do have some scrap metal. I'm going to see if I have enough really quick, and then I'm going to try and build me something that I can then have my dad come help me mount up on the wall. So just, you know, just like a normal, like, boop, boop, like an L-shaped rack. Just something that will allow me to put these other bins. So I already got measurements. I'm going to have it basically seven, eight foot long. So as long as I have enough square stock laying around, which I should, this will be, this will be pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and build that really quick, and then we'll end this video out. This is seven foot by, like, 
uh, basically two foot. I was getting kind of lazy with the measurements. I just wanted something to, you know, do its job. So uh, I just got to drill some holes in the angle iron right here. And then, I don't know, probably do two or three big holes. Ideally, it is going to go into these cracks. I'm told that's the better way to do it. So two good size holes. But uh, this isn't going to be super, you know, weight bearing. It's only holding a couple tubs, so probably like 30, 40 pounds. So it should be good, but that's pretty much wrapping it up. I'm tired. Um, I've just been going nonstop between the house moving and then now the shop moving for the last like two weeks straight. And I'm very tired. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna wrap it up. I got a bumper bar to ship out for one Charlie Adams. And uh, it's just been so hectic. I was supposed to ship it out last week. I just have not had time with the move. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go prep that to ship tonight or tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hopefully get that thing hung up tomorrow and see if we can get some stuff done. But yeah, if you want to help support the channel any further, you know, like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And then yeah, t-shirts uh, last week and these are gone. And um, yeah, if you want one of those titanium intakes, they're gonna, they're on the website right now. Four colors, like I mentioned. So do your life good with the rest. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.